KJ Reddick doesn't even look right on the sideline. Just being honest with you. He's that a star, man. Work. That shit, I don't I think he's it. a star. He, he, he cool and all. Like, he ain't no star, though. Being honest with you, he ain't no star. That nigga's a star. Anyway, it goes, the media talks to him. He's talking shit right back. I love it. That nigga ain't no, that nigga ain't no star. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Your man is out there killing it. In L.A., got Bronny popping. Who? What? J.J. Leave, Big J. Bronny, I'm being real, bro. I'll be getting so much smoke. I'm leaving that Bronny thing alone, bro. But, I don't even. <laughs> you know, Ticket TV, big shout out to him, Kwame Brown. Your man, the comedian, Bubba Dub. Like, it's certain people that, bro, they're going to keep it real. So, you know, look at what they said. You know what I mean? You know I don't, what I mean? I'm I don't a hater, like... though, and I'm a troll, and I'm a... How you feel about Kwame Brown complaining for 20 years about Stephen A. Smith doing the same thing to him that he's doing to Bronny now? Bro, it's, it's, we are all... We all contradict. Everybody does it. Uh, <laughs> they, 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 think about this. Remember when Dame Dash had that legendary interview with the Breakfast Club, and he was like, right. "You know, he don't he don't conversate uh, about other men as chatty patty." Right now, he's super chatty patty. He looks crazy. So it's <laughs> like, bro, the, the internet. <laughs> listen, the internet is undefeated. Fifty said, "You better stop talking before your teeth fall out again." Fifty is Fifty is undefeated. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So that's why I told you. That's why he's in my top five. He, listen, he might be the best that ever do it. But like, I, you know, it's it's weird out here, man. But you know, it's it's you know they people people like who they like, and when you talk about who they like, they don't like it. You know that young man over there. You know, much blessings to him. I guess you know. What I mean, I don't wish no harm or hate on, on nobody, but. He doesn't deserve to be in the NBA. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just the truth. I've never heard nobody, I've never heard no sport talk about being patient with a late second round pick. I've never heard people go, nah, he going to give him five, give him what? I've never heard that. So for me, <clears throat> you know, it's, 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 listen, man, like I said, I stay away, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I stay away from that topic now because, you know, it, it's not, you know, it, it's fun and cool, but after a while, like I said, I'm not really into, you know, the trolling and, you know, we have fun, but at the end of the day, being real, bro. Little homie is trash, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> oh. With all brawny arena. Come on, baby. I'm so, I'm sorry. I just I just you know? really hate I didn't I thought Kwame Brown we all contradict ourselves, but that's horrible. After you spent you came out bursting on the YouTube scene with that. I think he's a total hypocrite. The other guys, I think you got Carl Blanche. We're gonna talk <sighs> about Skip Bayless in a second. Ah, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I disagree with, with, with what you're saying about Kwame Brown because I think his situation is totally different. Um, when he broke it down, like I said, it's up to somebody to believe him or not. I don't, I don't have no dog in this fight. I'm not, uh, backing him or you know, I'm not vouching for Kwame. But I don't know, him, but I'm just saying, when he breaks down his story, his story is totally different from Bronny James. Like when you look at his high school highlights, Kwame Brown was killing. No disrespect, okay. no disrespect. Bronny wasn't killing. Kwame Brown was the number one pick. And it seems like he never had an opportunity for his shot. Like, you know, once again, when he breaks it down, it's no excuse. But, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, you know, dude's got a gripe with Braun and, you know, how he moved, how his team moved. So, you know, guys are going to, you know, any chance they get, they're going to discuss, you know, whatever's attached to him. Do do I feel like Kwame Brown is being, you know, contra contradicting, contradicting itself? I mean, I, I I don't know. I don't know. That's why I say this shit is weird. It's weird. It's I, weird. I think he's, nah, he's a million percent because contradicting himself because, like you just said, he got the opportunity to come to the league. He earned it himself. So I get that. 
Bronny didn't really, in our eyes, earn it. There's no way possible. He's in the NBA. This guy, as soon as J.J. Reddick said, you know, compared him to Lou Dort, I think Davion Mitchell, specifically Lou Dort, Lou Dort went undrafted. He had a two-way contract. He earned every single every single penny for OKC right now. And now he's starting for the, uh, starting guard for them. I don't – so once you do that, and then, then Bronny's – you know, LeBron said he's better than half the league. So the momentum was there. He was, The hype was there. He gets to the league, and we're seeing it like, all right, he's not what y'all made him out to be. And the same thing with Kwame Brown. You a number one pick. You're not what they would – you're not a number one pick. You are a bust. So all that other shit to me is like, oh, he played 12 years in the league. Okay, cool. But you're still not what you're supposed to be. And people was just calling you out the same way you're calling out Bronny. You really kind of trash, Kwame. That's like, stop. We Nobody wants you as a starting center on the team for a championship team. You're a number one pick. Ain't nothing wrong with that is the whole point. You made millions. You're supposed to be able to deal with all that. And you didn't, and you couldn't, and you held a, gr a grudge for it. That's what I'm saying. Like, the way he sounded coming out with haymakers, he still wants to fight Matt Barnes, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So you don't think Brawny feels a certain way about that? He's a kid. That kid is a kid. You out of all people He's should know He's not a kid. That. He's not a kid, bro. Compared to He's who what Tommy Brown is right now, 1920? No, I'm no, saying I'm saying I'm a, a kid, you're a not, kid from a standpoint of he's we're not 40, a kid, 50 bro. years old. I understand what you're he's saying. You go kid. to jail, you sign contracts, you make your own money. Because I was saying that earlier, but I'm talking about from the right. standpoint of you he, are. He's very young. So Kwame right, so Brown is saying, Kwame, hold right, on, but so, Kwame's so, saying so, okay. that that messed him up from young, and now that he's a grown man, he's reflecting back on all this stuff. How it, the thing with Jordan? They were supposed to trade him for um, uh, uh, shout out to uh, RP. He reminded me they were supposed to trade him for for Elton Brand. And he was taking out his gripe on Kwame Brown. Bro, he was getting bullied by Jordan. This shit is so, kind of, if, if, right, if Bronny right. was, was built differently, he would get bullied. So, so are people not supposed to talk about Bronny James? I'm not saying that. I'm no, not I saying mean, that at I all. Mean, I'm saying to, to he me, shouldn't talk I think about that, Bronny James. I, but I, I disagree. What are you talking about? If, 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 you know, if everybody's in the media, we are allowed to talk about everybody else. Once again, that's a major story. Whether he was drafted in the first round, second round, ninth round, that's a major story because his father made it that way. So at the end of the day, I don't think Kwame Brown is wrong for talking about Bronny James because once again, social media is built on clickbait. People got, say they don't clickbait, but you could, you could clickbait and don't do it intentionally. Like I said, what we always say, we don't hear no... <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. We don't hear nobody talking about De'Aaron Fox, Sabonis. We don't hear nobody talking about Jordan Poole. Why? Because it's not hot topics. So at the end of the day, if Bronny and Braun wasn't a hot topic, they wouldn't talk about him. The fact of the matter is, the young man is not a good basketball player. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to burst everybody bubble. And when him and Carmelo Anthony's son played on ESPN, that was the proof right there. I'm, that's the that was the proof. Kendrick Perkins said it before. Yo, I don't know who gets into. A, I don't know who's an All American. Kendrick Perkins said I average thirty. Like this dude's in high school that's averaging thirty plus, twenty five plus. Young man wasn't even averaging twenty. Some people say he wasn't even the best player on his team, and he was an All American, McDonald's. So at the end of the day, us as quote unquote media. You know, I don't call myself media, but you know, that's what it's called out here. Uh, it's fans, it's we, it. The mic is rubbing the zipper. Right. So we 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 all that's better. Yeah, yeah. So so you know, we you know a lot of this be our fault, you know. But for me, we have to be honest. And Kwame Brown says something that made sense. If we could call Westbrook Westbrick. Why we can't commentate or talk about Bronny James? I don't have a problem with that. But you can't be the one that came out and wants to fight Matt Barnes and hold the grudge for all these years and say that. You should no longer have a grudge with anybody then. You should understand what Stephen A. Because you're doing exactly what Stephen A. Smith was doing now, which is my point to begin with. All you guys were shitting on Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith, and now all of a sudden you're supposed to be the new media and change shit up. Nah, what's the difference? That's what I'm saying. It was it was 
it was easy to say that had that perspective when you weren't when you were sitting on your couch when you were playing basketball but now that you're in their seat you're doing exactly what they're doing so yeah y'all are hypocrites draymond <laughs> uh kwame brown all these guys hold on just real quick yo <laughs> the mic <laughs> the mic rubbing <laughs> the zip is nasty <laughs> hey yo yo fish every time we got something good going fish <laughs> Hold on, we never chap step, chap step, pump fake, pump fake. He, 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 he. Come on, we in the Come building. On, Let's go. The, the, yeah. the official, the official brawny basketball. Yo, this is... <laughs> yo, <laughs> listen, man. And that's what I mean. I should be able to say what the hell I want to say, LeBron. You out of all people, you knew what the slander was coming into the game. Don't. And he seems like he's he's he could take he could you know. He's taking it well. I don't see him bitching and moaning. I see him out here moving and grooving. I'm proud of that kid, man. He ain't looking I mean, depressed yeah, under yeah. that. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, that's a great point. You know, like I said, I, nothing to be upset about. You know, one thing you can't stop people from doing is talking, you know. So at the end of the day, you know, but just my whole thing is, you know, I just tell people me being considered all ball. I don't know it all. I tell you I don't know it all. I don't care that I don't know it all. You might be better than me at the game, but you don't love the game more than me. That's just a fact. And at the end of the day, just give me my props when I'm right. That's all I be wanting to say. I could be wrong on a whole bunch of things, but when I'm right, there you go. Give me my props. He's in the building. Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Big flea. Never the little one. Flea was good. Let's in the get building. Right to it. Yeah, Flea's well, in the building. Well, you just reminded me of the exact quote that made me want to talk about this. Because I was searching for the quote to talk about this. Skip Bayless. Bane is back, old boy. Hold the hell on. Bane is back. Stop playing with my boy. I just said it. Kwame Brown, Draymond Green, all you guys bitching and moaning about Skip Bayless all these years, and all you do is play the exact role this man is playing. And Bane is back with a vengeance. Oh, Last oh, weekend, oh TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Isus <laughs>